Well, good morning, YouTube. I'm still at Glen Helen Nature Preserve. On my way into John Bryan here in a little bit. And, uh, gonna be passing through the pine forest. You could take that trail too, but that, uh, that, uh, I believe it's for maintenance vehicles, yeah. Here's the pine forest here at, uh, Glen Helen. And when you're in the pine forest, you're almost out of Glen Helen before you enter into John Bryan. Yep, these big old pine trees that are, see the pine straw from them. Those don't lose their leaves like, well, they don't have leaves. I guess it's thistles or whatever. Smell the, smell the pine cones. Smells great. beautiful area here there's a couple other areas where there's a uh, some patches of pine trees in a couple areas at Twin Creek in the old Camp Hook Boy Scout section Step over the trees, which that's all right. Still got native trees mixed in to the pine forest, which there's not near as much. I don't think there's quite as much honeysuckle back in this area through the pine forest as there is. In other areas, I think I stepped off the trail briefly. I think I did, I don't know. I'll get back on it. There's a trail right there. I'm just going to get on that because these trails are not marked through here and there. They unfortunately, they do not maintain this the way they should or could, which sucks. There's no reason why they should not put trail signage on the trails it doesn't take away from anything and it's just stupid do not have it I think it's a poor excuse I mean trail signage does not make things any harder people it's for safety I mean, we have color-coded trails in the metro parks as well as other state parks, but for some stupid reason, this damn place will not adopt them. There's just no excuse. Oh, no. 
I just don't understand it, you know. I mean, it's not that hard to put in a color-coded trail system to implement it. All you need is a few pieces of wood, some paint, mark the trails, and that's all you need. It just annoys me that, you know, the laziness that... I'm trying not to rant today, but the trail should be marked. Where you can see where you're, where you can navigate them easier. I just don't think, I think it's a poor excuse. Oh, I did notice through here before, there is some Osage orange trees in this preserve as well. I don't think I'm going to pass by them until later on. Those are like a fence row tree common in Oklahoma, Texas. Very hard wood too. It's a great, it's not really for furniture, but it's for like fence, fence posts, that sort of thing. Probably some of the hardest wood in North America. And I believe I'm going to be exiting Glen Helen here very shortly. Because when you pass the Horace Man statue, is when you exit. Glen Helen. I believe so, at least. Yeah, this is starting to love the sound of the wind. Yep, we're, we're not far from uh, being into John Bryan. State Park. Oh, then about an hour and a half from lunch. And vice versa. I believe that's the one trail, I think they call it the Christmas tree trail. I'm going to end this one for now. Well, I'll keep it going. I'm going to end it.